Hello everybody, Beastie here with another video, and today we are going to just go through week 3 NFL picks, and really, this should be fun. Um, thank you guys for, for supporting the other two videos, I mean, they're really not that many views if you compare to other YouTubers, but like, that other, the first one was my third video to 100 views ever, and I hit it, and it happened within a week. So I just thank you guys for watching them, and... Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Let's go right away. Right now, from what I'm getting from you guys, you guys are liking my pick. So hopefully you guys like week threes too. Um, Jets at Browns. Guys, I wanted to see a Sam Darnold at Baker Mayfield. Light type scenario. I wanted to see, I wanted them to just kind of show to see if Sam Darnold deserved the first overall pick instead of Baker Mayfield. That's what I wanted to see from this game. But from what I'm hearing... From watching NFL like reports and stuff, Tyrod's running the Browns camp, and Sam Darnold is third string on the Jets roster, so I won't get to see it. But if I picked, if I was gonna pick with the rookies, it's gonna be the same with this. I think the Browns are gonna win this at home. If you think about it, Browns have so much more weapons this year. They have Jarvis Landry, Nick, uh, Nick Chubb, Carlos Hyde, Josh Gordon. Uh, I forgot this guy's f first name, but Coleman. And Tyrod or Baker Mayfield, I think, is going to do a good job this year. So, Raider. So, I'm going to pick Browns. Now we have Raiders at Dolphins. Oof. See, I have this really close friend. He's a Raiders fan. So, he's telling me a lot of good points about the Raiders. But, Ryan Tannehill. I also saw stats on Ryan Tannehill before he got injured. And Ryan Tannehill was not a bad quarterback. He, When he was healthy, he won seven out of his last eight games when he was healthy. And... Raiders, Cleo Mack still hasn't shown up to camp. So I'm going to give the win to the Dolphins. Because Cleo Mack is the leader to that Raiders defense. So without Cleo Mack, they're going to have a rough season again. Um, Tennessee Titans at Jacksonville Jaguars. Or should we call them Saxonville? Give the win to the Jaguars at home. AJ Boye, Ram, uh, Jordan Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey, what am I talking about? But the Jaguars are going to win that all day. Um, Broncos at Ravens. Broncos defense is going to be extremely good. Yes, they lost a key to leave. But adding Bradley Chubb is going to honestly make up for that. Because now the quarterback's going to have less time to throw the ball. So the reads aren't going to be as good. They're going to make more nervous decisions. So I still think they're going to be good. And especially for the Ravens. Because what if the Ravens are starting Lamar Jackson and he's versing Bradley Chubb and Von Miller? He's going to make some poor decisions that game, and that's going to give Broncos a win. I like the Broncos this year. I think the Broncos are going to be a good, solid team going into this year. Do I think they're a playoff team? No. Will they maybe make the playoffs on my little thing here? They might, because going game by game is different from what I think is actually going to happen. But I think they're going to be a solid team, and I think they're going to do better than they have for the last couple of years. Steelers at Buccaneers. See, this is a tough one for me now because I think I am underrating the Buccaneers. I think the Buccaneers got some talent. And I think the Buccaneers have enough thing weapons to like they can do some damage. But the Steelers have too much. Right now, LeVon Bell's not technically on the roster, but I think he's playing this year for the Steelers anyway. And, and you have Antonio Brown and Juju Smith-Schuster. And you've still got Ben Roethlisberger throwing the football. The Steelers are going to win that, in my opinion. Um, you have the 49ers at Kansas City. This is going to be some good, inexperienced quarterback matchup right here. You're going to have Patrick Mahomes and Jimmy Garoppolo. Should be good. You know what? Normally, when I first glanced at this, I'd go Chiefs. So, I don't know if I can count this as an upset of the week, but I'm upsetting it with the 49ers. Because if you think about it... Actually, this doesn't, won't even be my upset. This is just going to be another upset. But, uh... Jimmy Garoppolo should lead the 49ers to this victory, especially just because the Chiefs lost Marcus Peters. Like, yes, he caused a lot of on-the-field on drama, but he was doing phenomenal on the field. Like, he played phenomenal. He had the on-the-field drama, but he played well on the field. So I think they gave away too much talent for too little, and the Chiefs are going to regret that in this game. Now we have the Colts at Eagles, even with Andrew Luck being back. Honestly, this might be a game where Andrew Luck is hurt again. 
I mean, if you look at the Eagles D-line, they are going to be so destructive, even with Jeff Fletcher, Cock, and Brandon Graham. Um, yeah, Eagles are going to win that, and Andrew Luck might even get hurt again that game if he's not fully healthy going into it. Patriots at Lions. Um, Patriots at Lions, this is going to be a good game, honestly. You have Matthew Stafford, which is a phenomenal quarterback, and they have now have, uh, blah, 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 blah. They have Matt Patricia which was on the Patriots, so he knows a little bit about the Patriots' winning style. I think he might give it to the Lions, that winning potential. And the Patriots get rid of Malcolm Butler, and look what happened when they benched him in the Super Bowl. A backup quarterback got through for over 400 yards and won MVP. I mean, phenomenal day for Nick Foles. Lions are going to get that upset. This is going to be my upset of the week. Um, Yeah, and Bengals at Panthers. Cam Newton's going to be playing at home. He's going to feel be feeling hot. Panthers are going to get that. It's going to be my clinch of the week. I don't see much how the Bengals can win this game unless A.J. Green goes off. So that's going to be my clincher of the week right there. Panthers beating the Bengals. Chargers at Rams. Going to be such a good game. I mean, you're going to talk about Joey Bosa, Melvin Ingram rushing, and Keenan Allen and Melvin Gordon running the football. And the Rams is going to be just as good, but the Rams have a super team. They can stop Keenan Allen with Marcus Peters and Aqib Tlaib. And the Rams are just a super team because of their offense style. You have Jared Goff, which will be a top 10 uh, quarterback soon. I don't know if he's quite there yet, but he's going to be within the next with, within the next five years. He's going to be a top 10 quarterback in this league. And you have Ty Gurley running. You have Cooper Cup, Brandon Cooks, Robert Woods. Then that's all they're going to need to beat the Chargers. Giants at Texans. Texans still have a little bit of home field advantage, but the Giants won't have to travel far, so it's not going to be like, unless they're going to fly all the way to New York and back to Texas, because in week two, they're versing Dallas. So, in Dallas, so they don't have to travel far, but the noise should be big, especially with Deshaun Watson and J.J. Watt coming back. This will be their third game. I'm going to give the Texans a win. Texans are going to be such a good team this year. And now we have Bills at Vikings. Vikings are going to be a phenomenal with Kirk Cousins. I mean, I don't think it was the right idea to get rid of all three of their quarterbacks within the Case Keenum, Teddy Bridgewater, and Sam Bradford. I don't think it was smart to get rid of all three. I think they should have kept one in case Kirk Cousins doesn't do what they hope. But I think Kirk Cousins will. Bill still don't have a starting quarterback. But Sean McCoy's having troubles. So I'm going back to week one when I say the Ravens lose to the Bills. I'm thinking about changing that back just because Sean McCoy's not looking definite. It looks like he's getting into some trouble, and they still don't have a solid quarterback yet. So Vikings are going to win that. Uh, Cardinals at Bears. I'm going to give it to the Cardinals. Sam Sam Bradford or Josh Rosen. Hopefully Larry Fitzgerald plays well. And David Johnson is back this year. He's a player I feel like got forgotten about pretty much because running backs were hot last year, and he was out. So he wasn't being hot when all the other running backs were being hot and playing good. So uh, he's been kind of put under the radar, and he's going to be back this year, and he's going to still be playing good. Saints at Falcons. Falcons are at home. Falcons have a high-powered offense. This is going to be, I think, a sh- like a, basically like a shootout in basketball. It's just going to be high scoring. I think both teams will probably make it into the 30s this game. But in the end, Falcons are at home. They're going to have the advantage. It's going to be such a good game. Falcons are going to pull up on top. They'll bring a home division game against New Orleans. Packers at Redskins. This is a tough one for me. Because Aaron Rodgers is back. So I have high hopes for the Packers. But Redskins have Alex Smith, which he he's not a bad quarterback. So this is kind of tough for me. You know what, though? I'm going to give it to the Redskins. I think this is like my unsure one, though. Packers could easily come away with this one. But I'm going to give it to the Redskins. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. And Alex Smith has to throw for like 300 yards at least and now Cowboys at Seahawks these both of these teams are in a horrible situation Cowboys all they really got is the running back Seahawks all they really have is Russell Wilson but Pete Carroll is still running their training camp really well and I don't think the Seahawks are going to be god awful but they're going to be bad but they're going to be good enough to be Cowboys in Seattle and that's it for week three picks Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed the picks, and hopefully you agree with them. 
Comment down below if you disagree with any of them, because I like hearing everyone's views on all these football games. So comment down below if you disagree with any, and maybe your idea might be heard, and I might go back in a video and change it, because I'm really thinking to change that Ravens-Bills game. But uh, either way, see y'all next time. Peace out, y'all. Well, I, I can't hit the button, so let's just look at the standings anyway. Right now, I have Detroit Lions at 3-0. and oh, Look at them. Falcons at 2-1. and one. Eagles at 3-0. and oh. Giants at 2-1. and one. Must have beaten Dallas. I can't, couldn't remember that. Oh, my God. Dallas at 0-3. Oh Rams at 3-0. and oh. Cardinals making the playoffs at 2-1. and one. They're not going to stay like that, though. They don't have because the Saints are definitely going to make it and stuff. And let's go to the AFC. Let's just look at the AFC standings real quick. We got the Steelers right now at 3-0 looking good. Jaguars and Texans looking good at 2-1. Patriots not even in it right now. I'm giving them a 1-2 record to start. But obviously they're going to turn around. And Broncos at 3-0. It's obviously they're not going to go undefeated. And they might not even make the playoffs. So. But that's it. Hopefully this time I can touch the right place on my phone screen. But either way, see you all next time. Peace out, y'all.